a dome as the dome was, to Oceanus Prosolarum, a mime, moon wand speak a ghost's object, felly briars of it, a dust dice weigh as eyes, a sun split to its size by the one ascent to design no noon would harm. Their mirror is a legend. The Oceanus Prosolarum, a mob foot each hoopo possesses, I thought with orb thin hell arrival, I walked in once. The unknown zero, a roof if I looked in a knife of the ray array wand, a theory worth each beauty's life. There are the sated twins as if fitted, a dad weed, a Pelagian shadow, or the dome sheaves seethe to a mast's object, fitted so agape, as they obey a seraph's seer's diadem, seer, when no wind has to wing a chapel loam to the shape a system hasn't, to a sea place calm, map horned, a scene's cup below plain, night's notary rooted death seas, your thought we try, misseeking time, a dome.
philosophical emptiness, an empty lattice of atoms, is a lapidary discovery. A ghost ship mysteriously materialized on the polar shore where the wanderer finally sees a wake is to touch each web. May stars as solemn meet too real as lost. Dr. Chiron would say such things as we walk, and the dust of the mare would be of less, of a glow-eye lamp budded to tininess seen, and no name but a light would cease. I see as if he faded to time, his loop at her rude douses, a skyway echo, if a furrow our footsteps across the mare climb to the gazes dead shop star. Again, Dr. Chiron, the essential identity of the unknowable symbol is that it can be communicated and still remain a symbol, but only as that communication is inextricable from the entirety of the unknowable symbol, a paradox of eclipse. That the symbol is only ever a phenomenon of its entirety makes it a dream system, one whose pattern or nature is an ecliptic, a perpetuum mobile of pure semantics. Houdin, he would say, the clue of the dead sharp star is with mazes steps a crater reef, the way ebb lining gaps each act would widow to dust. A moon naive state tenses have if they assume a border to dust. Do not think about a map. The sundial wage lacks it, two possessions size a past, a sun rounded to leave a fact a dawn. In a lagan, a jar ringwake thought decanted, what tenses sea has, a swan, nearer halo lay by each acquitted sea. Possess seas, a sea stayed to sea same ply, by each acquitted to theta rebuts what was, will be. Dear Houdin, in the long halls of the house at Lacus Oblivionis, the ledger domain misalignment of the mirrors is their division and reordering into a transparency, a solar system they lack, a shroud dim in name silk I can mend if through more hours I see a way through it to a hat I had to view a sun anterior to her ring. I search and search the marooned lunamot with its pink equator and the leaning mare, and the world is secondary. Whether it devises a seashell hall hollowed to a deity, what died I have thought it to. What atom may umbrella winds about it heaped to a doll's book. It is a solar-worn hand, a debtor with a moon stain, each planet hinged to it, hidden, there real if I appear, I am a centaur remaining with a briar beard to weave. The mare ringing crow, a procession knotted to death, I thought to be a prow uprooted to hull Roman bells, as sea air warps in a net. Would I lose a dream vexes? Was the seabed's one motion, night, tomb of Andromeda snow? An atom braille, a rose's space, is shelter remaining twice in it, autumn umbral. 
a respite I labor, if heaven's saddest moon, a son I will same implore, means one oblivion nest. Design me, shadow or measure, a machine with bird doors, a voice may pull loose. Spichnul nad molum pervi mayak, drugich mayakov protecha, zaplakol i shapku snyal moljak, što plavol v nabitih smertju morjak. Dol smerti i smerti na vstreću. Izvenitja požolsta, Kyron.
the road to have is a silhouette of the fawn, in illusion's third office will light what faith God jails in. A wind has a body, a wind roams Siberia's census, as though thought were a mare, a war that slows a ghost steed to a death that you are more. Without his snowy fury, waxes as he stayed, without it at a cross's system, similitude, weaned to the skull, lit to tetanus. Within an eyelash vote, debate to the wide-out cockle. Beside it, death deduces a sleep body, deduces you immerse the fawn in an alias sun, when her rose is with the first a helical glower, emotion in wing azure arbors unto a book gaining, as though orbic wakening a word would remedy moon in anomia ash. The homage is so real, so impales a sea with thought, armor that a sea hollows is cast to it, the tremor that has no fewer wrecks is tied it to it. As a young man, I would wander alone in the forests of Mare Nagog. The trees of the forest and the way they revolve attention to the exact hour of a cloud-eluding sun, always the inevitability of a solitude that is like the inevitability of an octahedron or of sleep, fix themselves in a persistence of appearance. But observation will find that this very precision of a tree is that precision made slightly askew to observation and works in league with the surrounding trees to reveal how space in the forest is elementally different, stirring the plane of the visible and transparency is its narcissus butterfly, that it may even have a system of movement in the genus of solar systems and river courses but unique and catalyzed by the trees. At night, forsaking artificial light in the absence of celestial light, I would also wander in the forest. The world and the spool of thread are connected to the same arrow that spins in my nerves, but in utter darkness the world has never existed. 
the loud songs of the creatures refract darkness into a proximity that cannot be calculated. They are the twins of images and are triple hinged. They are sung not merely as an echo phrasure of storm objects, but recount the spell I closed in the book at noon and forgot. Utter darkness is the precondition, is the irrevocable path to being observed.